Welcome to e-commerce tips with Asankar. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Analytics with your Etsy shop. Google have made a new upgrades to their UI in Google Analytics. So sometimes you might find it difficult to where to get your tracking ID where they need here to integrate with your Etsy shop. So first of all, you need to have a Google Analytics account and an Etsy shop. And if you don't have a Google Analytics account, you can just follow the link that I have put in the description of the video and uh, follow and do the guides and just create a Google Analytics account for yourself. All right, let's start. Once you have done with creating your Google Analytics account, you can click the admin button and it will take you to this page. And from there, you can start creating an account. So first you need an account name. I'm gonna put it as online store. Scroll down, hit next. Then you need a property name. I'm gonna put it as Etsy shop and select the reporting time zone for you. I'm gonna put it as Australia. And uh, Melbourne time. Of course, you can select the relevant time zone for you and the currency. And then you have to click show advanced options here and enable to create a universal analytic property. And you need to put the link here, which is the relevant link for your own store. To to be sure what to put it here, we will go back to Etsy shop and click on this handy help link provided by Etsy. And it will take you to their Etsy help center page and scroll down here. They have mentioned how to put your web store URL in analytic for integration. And we're gonna paste it here simply and and shop name into your shop name. I'm gonna put mine and I'm gonna select to create both universal analytic property, which is pretty much be clear. I will tell you later on why is that and hit next and click and create and select the relevant business size for your store and how and click on the how you're gonna use the data and I'm gonna click on this and create and then it will take you to the terms and conditions page. Of course you have to accept everything. Only if you accept, you will be able to create this. All right, now we are done. Well, Google have done a lot of advantage, adv advances in their UI, but we'll talk about these in a different day and I'm gonna close it for the moment. And now we need the tracking ID to paste it here. So we're gonna take the tracking ID, you click back from there and you come to this page. And now since you have, if you, you can see since you have created properties, you're gonna see the tracking ID. As you, as you remember, since we have selected two properties, it has given us two properties. So then from that, you can take only the tracking property and uh, integrate that with your Etsy shop. So I'm gonna copy the tracking ID, go back to shop uh, Etsy shop and paste the link here and save. So Etsy says normally it takes 24 hours in order to make an update. 
I will see you after 24 hours. Welcome back. So it's not even been 24 hours, but it's kind of like starting to get the required data from my Etsy shop for analytics. As you can see, there are two real time audience report is working on as well. So it's pretty much done deal. So thank you for watching my video. And if you like the video, please subscribe and put a like and share with your friends. And I will hope to see you with another tutorial video. Have a good day and have a good time. Oh.